Hi there! Welcome to Palette University and the next episode of our playthrough of the new Pokemon Snap. Now, last episode we discovered a brand new island and I'm guessing we need to just sort of go back and, and redo it some. Because we went through uh, the day once and I think the night twice. But now we have the Illumina Orbs unlocked so we can use them during the day. So, if you're excited for that, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. It really does help out the channel more than, you know, like, I always used to think it was, like, annoying, frankly, when YouTubers would be like, make sure you click the like button, it's real important. But it, it really is. Like, literally no one but YouTube understands how YouTube, like, algorithm works. But, like, sure do help. You know, I gotta say. When did you get there? Oh, fuck up, dude. Awesome. Cub Chew is so cute. I love him so much. What a cute little guy. Um, but yeah, liking, liking the, uh, the video really does help out a lot. Um, and if you're not subscribed, make sure that you do, because we're going to be talking about, uh, putting out some videos soon where I really go in depth on some of the ecology and, and things like that. Some of the more scientific pieces of, uh, of this game, because there really is much more than you might think. I'm actually, I've actually been very pleasantly surprised. Weavile, hello. Hey, guy. Come over here. You're not even going to look over here? Okay. Um, but yeah, really breaking down some of the uh, ecology things because... And even just like some things like, like scenery stuff. Like Pokemon's never really paid this much attention to uh, things like the, just the scenery... And the environments before, which obviously I super love. Ooh, a Skarmory inside. I didn't really see like that. That's new information that Skarmory lives in caves. Is that Glalie still in here? No, but there's a frost last right there. Come on. There we go. Darn. I wanted to try and wake it up somehow, but... We'll have to do that next time. Okay, so we have a Sphiel. My picture of Vulpix was not very good. Vulpix, wait. Come back. What is making that squeaking sound? Oh, it's the Piplup. Okay. Hopefully I got that, because that was a pretty cool shot of it just, like, sitting on its butt. For some reason, it really reminded me of the, like, old Coca-Cola uh, polar bear commercials. I don't know why it reminded me of that, but it did. Okay, 
Okay, so I, we got a two star at least, so I'll submit that and get some points. Got some cub chew. Ooh, that's a good picture. That's got to be worth a lot of points. Um, let's see, our swine up was not very good. Only 2161. Wow, yeah, that's really bad. Like, this one's got to be better, right? Our scrummery picture was pretty bad. Um, this one, That one's got to be pretty good, right? I'll submit this one of, of Vivian just so we have that pattern on, like, in the photo decks. How did I not have just a one-star Mammoth Swine yet? Let's see. Two-star snow, snow Rut we haven't had yet. We haven't had Frost Lass at all. That's pretty cool. And I guess we'll do that one for Vulpix just because I feel like it's that's the best we got. All right, Professor, just give me the points. There, there really should just be, like, a fast-forward button through this. You know, I didn't really need, like, a, a turbo function through the through the courses, but I really want a turbo function through this the, all of these screens. <laughs> Sorry. I've been forced, just because of the way my schedule is sort of working out, to be recording things either early in the morning or later at night. So I've been real tired the last couple episodes that I've recorded here. Okay, so how many points do we get here? Definitely not 63,000. Yeah, there's no way. 15 species of ice types. That's pretty cool. By the way, thanks for the progress you made in your research. I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. Okay. I have no idea what this is going to be because I, I feel like it shouldn't be happening because I didn't get it to like another level. Um, do I, maybe I just don't understand how this game works even though we're, what, what is this, episode 19? We're 20 episodes in here and like I'm still not understanding what what triggers events. Professor, Professor, I hope you found a new teleportation point. Word reaches you quickly, Rita. Oh, there's a there's that's a good quality in an assistant. Yes, we've pinpointed another reading. It's coming from underground. My word, I'm so sorry. Farther into into Durice Island. Whoa, we're going underground. This is gonna be awesome. The cave we'll be exploring looks quite deep. I'm counting on you to leave no stone unturned down there. That's bad advice. If you're in a cave, literally don't touch anything. Cave ecosystems are extremely fragile. Hey, can I talk to you for a sec? Has the professor told you yet? He gave us the green light to do some nighttime research at the beach. What? What? That seems so random. Like, that that seems super, super random. But I mean, the first one took basically no time at all. So I guess we'll do the cave and then we'll do the beach. I don't know. We'll see what happens, I guess. Okay, so we've gotten at least three new Pokemon here so far that I've seen. Ooh, a Gengar. Interesting. Interesting. 
I actually kind of got to, not like explore, but like I got a tour of a cave uh, right before I left South Dakota. It's pretty cool. I'm curious if the Gengar follows me. Braviary, what are you doing in here? It's, it, this is... Okay, it opens up. Alright. <laughs> oh, Magikarp. Oh, Krogunk. Didn't really expect to see Krogunk here. That's kind of neat. I really like Krogunk. It's a really underrated Pokemon, I think. I'm actually applying for a job working... At a cave. Oh, yes, yeah, Sableye. I love. I don't have my Sableye plush out right now, but I love Sableye. Oh, really? Mm, I miss the Gengar. Rare gemstones. Okay, that explains the Sableye. It's Sableye. Uh, Sableye eat those, I'm pretty sure. Rampardos. More fossil Pokemon. Hey, friends. Saw the game. There you are. There is Gengar again. That looks. Hopefully, that's a good picture. It's also an excellent reference to the Judo on the wall from the original Pokemon Snap. That's very funny. I wonder if, if I knock it down with like an apple or something, uh, it does something. Because that's what you had to do in the original. God, I'm just a yawning mess tonight. Lots of new Pokemon here. So we have one star and two star. I don't know why that one's a two star, but okay. Um, this one I'm pretty close to it, so I'll do that one. We have one and two star Crobat. Yeah, it's not a very good Crobat. Um, these are all the Crobat pictures I got. Doesn't seem right. Um, somehow a three star Joltik. I don't know what it's doing to warrant that. But I guess I'll do the three star, just frankly because it's a three star. Um, we have three star. We only have three and two star Gengar. Okay, so three star is just when it's still in the portal, I guess. Um, I kind of like where when it's like actually facing us. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're not going to beat that Breviary, but we might as well try. 
Magikarp I have all done, so... Ooh. I like that one because it's got its cheeks out. One and three star Sableye. Again, what makes these two pictures different? I really don't understand. At least it keeps that original from, from the first Pokemon Snap. Is that sometimes you just don't understand why it gives you scores that it does. Okay, so we got lots of new Pokemon here. So this probably could get it to level 2, I would think. Unless it needs like 50,000 on the first one, which I kind of don't think it will. Well, that's got to be a good picture, right? Not quite the Crystal Stars. That's kind of annoying. Like, I think I would rather have it be, like, 3,100. <sighs> or, like, the threshold between silver and gold. Like, really low. Rather than have it be so close to getting crystal that it just doesn't. That it, it, it's, like... I'd rather get a 90 than a 99 on a test, I think, because just, I'm just kind of mad that I didn't get the 100, you know? Great 35. Okay, I bet we probably beat that. 33. Wow, unlocked a lot of stuff on that one. Um, I'll return to camp. I'll get that to level two on my own time. Um, but I want to check out the nighttime at the beach because for some reason we're not allowed to do that when we weren't before. But We've had access to the beach since like, like episode four, episode five, somewhere around there. Well, Driftblim's a new Pokemon. All right. My child, come here. My sweet, wonderful child. Hi. I love you so much. My sweet, innocent little baby child. Oh, look at him. I finally have my Zangoose plush out and about too. You can't see it the way my uh, video is sort of cropped here. But it's there. It's on my bookshelf. Hey, you. Okay, hello, Seviper. So Zangus and Seviper right there. Okay, are they gonna fight? Is my child gonna have to defend his his honor? Look how cool he is.
Oh, he's so cool. He's so edgy, I love him. Do, does anything happen with that crystal bloom? No, I guess not. I knew I'd find Zangus eventually. Is the palette is okay? Sandy gassed. It's finally out. Do you actually eat the fruit? Nope. Guess not. <laughs> That's funny. That scares the artillery. That's really funny. Does it actually eat it? It does eat it. Interesting. I thought they, like, fed on, you know, souls or something. I don't know. Weird. Okay, please. Give me all the stars for my child. Zangus. Okay, we have one and two star. Basically me hitting it with the fruit is a, is a two star. But... Oh, why couldn't his eyes be open right there for that? That's such a good picture. It's so cute. It's gotta be a good one right there. Um, do I already have this one? I think I do. I'll summon it again, just in case. Drift limb. That's, that's probably a pretty good one. Uh, so Viper. Okay. There we go. That's a good picture. Didn't really get a good one of Ink K, but I guess it'll do. Um, not really a good one of Blossom, but we'll try it. Uh, Sandagas. We have one and two star, right? So for two star... That's a good one star. What is the four star artillery then? Hmm. Okay. Why is this not artillery's picture? I have questions. Look at my boy. I missed it by four points. That was literally... So you need 4,000 to get the crystal star. And it was 3,996. This is why we can't have nice things. I'm so sorry, Zangoose. I should have done better. I swear to God, if the Viper gets a higher score than Zagus, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my con console off right now. Okay, thank you. That's a super cute picture. I really like Sandy Gas. Gen 7 had so many really underrated Pokemon, in my opinion. Fifty thousand. All right. Well, I guess it's going to end off this episode. I think in next episode, what I'll try doing 
is I'll get both of them to level two, I think. I think I might run the beach one more time. Um, no, you know what? If I don't get it, running it back again next episode, I'll just end up cutting it out, so. Editing. Yeah. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video as much as I did, because, as always, this game is just super beautiful, uh, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. We got to do lots of new tracks today, which is exciting. Um, well, new tracks. You know, doing it at night technically counts as a different track, but not really. Whatever. Um, but yeah, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe. As I mentioned at the beginning, it really does help out the channel a lot. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at palette underscore you to keep up on all things Pokemon science. As well as if you feel like supporting this content financially, we do have a Patreon link to which you can find down below in the description. What was the biggest Pokemon we saw in this episode? I don't actually know. Probably a Mamoswine, but I feel like I used that last episode. A my love for Zangoose sized uh, thank you to our current supporters over on Patreon. Uh, Patty Murphy and Sam McCarty, your support, as always, means the world to me. You know, not as much as my love for Zangoose, but pretty close. And lastly, thank you so much for watching, and as always, there's a time and place for everything.